afternoon. I'm delighted to see you. I am Virginia Roby Hammond Van Papelendam. I was born March 14, 1889, here in Warsaw, to Virginia and Walter Pardon Hammond Sr. My husband, Walter, was born December 8, 1885, in Keokuk, Iowa, to Alice and J. Bernard Van Papelendam. The happiest day of my life was April 18, 1911, when Walter and I were married at the home of my brother William and his wife in Chicago. Walter became a farmer, a real estate dealer, an insurance broker, and an international cattle dealer. He also bought and sold sheep. Let me tell you a little bit about my husband and my father. They shared similarities in spirit. They were both entrepreneurial but humble, and they both began working at the age of 18. Walter's family moved here from Keokuk in 1901, and that same year, his father entrusted him with the management of the Pecan Grove Farm, later known as the Albers Farm. Walter had such an adventuresome spirit. He became interested in cattle when he was working on cattle boats that crossed the Gulf of Mexico between Mexico and Cuba. After World War I, he traveled to Buenos Aires twice to export United States cattle to Argentina. He then became very interested in Texas and Oklahoma cattle and sold them throughout the United States. He was a member of the, oh, he managed several farms in Warsaw and also several buildings, including the old Farmers Bank building. He was a member of the Warsaw Chamber of Commerce and was on the Board of Education for 16 years. Walter was a very astute businessman, but he may be just as remembered for his fondness for children. We were blessed with a child of our own, a son, W. Cornelius, known as Neil, March 20th, 1924. And he continued in the insurance and real estate business. Walter was a strong supporter of the Girl Scouts and the Boy Scouts, and he loved watching children ride ponies, our ponies. His motto was, in order to have friends, one must be one. We enjoyed 39 years of marriage until he suffered a heart attack and died very suddenly on October 21st, 1950, at the age of 64. Like I said, my father also began working at the age of 16. He was born November 2nd, in um, 1829, in Wickford, Rhode Island, to Pardon and Roby Stanton Hammond. In 1845, he began working with his father at their bank and he stayed there until 1849 when he moved to New York. He worked in a bank in New York, but primarily he worked with his brother in the company D.S. Hammond and Brother manufacturing traveling bags. He visited Warsaw in 1867, uh, primarily to provide a business opportunity for a friend that he met in New York, a Mr. Simonson. And while he was here, he opened a wholesale and retail grocery store in what later became known as the Coos Building. And in 1868, he moved here permanently from New York. He and my mother, Virginia Eudosha Wilson, married February 9, 1875. My father married later in life. He was 46, but he knew he had found an excellent wife in my mother. She was born April 7, 1850, to Helen and Harmon Wilson, who were among the pioneers of Hancock County. She was known for her gracious and charming disposition. Unlike my father, she was bright and intelligent and very devoted to her home and her family. They had four children, William Jr., Harmon, Mary, and me.
My father was known for his remarkable mind and what was said is his marvelous memory. He had a real interest in world history and was regarded as an expert in world history, particularly political and commercial history. He also became very um, interested in exploring the possibilities of farming in the bottoms and at one time owned 3,000 acres. He was considered an expert in the various levels of the tracks in the bottoms and this was very helpful information when a levee broke April 25, 1897 and our land was flooded. The same levee broke in 1903 about a quarter mile south and our land was flooded again. My father also was involved in coal oil business and in buying and shipping hay presses. Like others who were involved in the hay business, he suffered financially during the reverses of 1875, the year that he and my mother were married. But their Christian faith enabled them to greet this with the same spirit of optimism that they later showed when the levee broke. They were excellent parents, and I'm so pleased to be able to share some of their story with you. Thank you for your time and attention. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.